Yeah, hi everyone. So let me share my screen. Um, Is it visible? Is my screen visible? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, last day, we have a uh, overview uh, on the CSS uh, variable and functions. We, we have no. I have shown you some functions, so, uh, which we have common function, animation function, color function, and pseudo functions. And then we have some idea about the CSS animation. So is there any question regarding anything on this? So today, we have a few more interesting things. Uh, so, so developers are uh, frequently use important whenever they stack in any place with CSS. So they add important. So so we know what is uh, today. We will uh, know that what is important and how to use in important and when need to avoid the use of important. Okay. So then uh, then we have uh, do's and don'ts of CSS, and then we will. Uh, I will ask you uh, some uh, scenario. Wherever you uh, start with the CSS changes, uh, so we will try to solve them on this. Okay, so real life scenario. So these uh, three four things uh, is today's in today's session. Uh, two more things is uh, are there. Uh, one is uh, multi column uh, CSS menu. I will create uh, today with uh, with uh, the multi column CSS drop down uh, and menu and tooltip. So all these things are to, in today's session. So and today we'll end up with uh, the CSS thing. So from tomorrow we will start with the SAS. So let's start with uh, important. So what is important? So so actually the important property uh, on the CSS is uh, something like that. It's overrated. It's earlier declaration. So the important property CSS indicates that whatever rule to which is attached takes the precedent over the other rules. So on a CSS file, you added a, a classes and declared the property uh, background color is black. But in other places with selective classes, selective selectors, you add an important property, not important actually, not important uh, property uh, on that uh, class, the same, same name, and it would override the previous one for example uh, like this uh, okay so container p so for example uh, here uh, we have a container class and inside that i have a d and a p okay so uh, on p on just p tag i have select the p tag uh, as a html selector and added some property uh, for example color is uh, example black okay. so now if i run this important file okay so the all the p colors is black now so now i'm adding I select that container class, okay, and select the P inside that container, and adding I change the color inside the container color, and add important, okay. So it will override the the generic. P uh, declaration and apply this uh, color property, apply this uh, property and values to the selective P. But is this 
is this proper way to declare the important no because if i don't use important here then also it will work because here we have a generic p we have applied css to the generic p add color black but here we have select the only those p which comes under the container and applied the color to blue on that particular p okay so this way we avoid the important huh, and change the color whatever we want so important will on, use on, important only there where we can't have control like if if uh, anything comes uh, outside css okay sometime we use some libraries those are those uh, libraries css we don't have control but uh, we need to customize this library file the library uh, theme or the color or anything as look and feel that that css file we don't have control but we get that css uh, we have that css selector and change that color apply the uh, custom our uh, custom things to that library things huh. then we have we, with that use of important is proper for example uh, in uh, you added some uh, you import some uh, html and css from other library file which you don't have any control on that directly we don't have access those files that's that size style okay font size 20 pixel okay so for example this comes from the outside of any uh, outside of your uh, code use use some library use some component or something else those have this kind of style which is not mat matching with your front property at all so what need to be then so you can't access this html and you can't have access with the uh, css directly on your code inside your code then to override that property or override that css you can use important so if inline style is there you don't have any control then you can add css property uh, or important to modify that override that uh, style so here if see if here is a class okay module class if you change uh, if you add module class this comes outside of your uh, code and it has a module class okay it has a module class which has some uh, uh, css uh, on the library end let add the let's try to uh, change that uh, property with help of css so i change uh, font size to my default one 16 px is it work no because we can't change it because it has some this inline this inline styles has first priority always first priority to uh, whatever style we have here the inline style has the first priority then the uh, then the uh, internal css then the external css the priority wise the inline property is the first number one then the in uh, the in the internal style which comes inside the head tag right STY. here whatever apply we that comes in priority two and the last one is the outer one this one which we linked okay <clears throat> so we can't change the style with with normal declaration here i have used the same class name we have module class 
and I have used the same class name here, but we can't change the font size. See, with with normal uh, with the external external CSS. Okay, it will it will not change. So then only we need to change the we we need to add the important. Okay, important. If I add important here, then it will the it will set the top priority uh, to that property and it will change. So this is the basic funda of using important. So after today's uh, session, never use important everywhere. You check uh, that style, that property will not change, just add the, add the not important. So don't do that. Okay. So it will, it will create a, a very, bad impact um, on the css file so if if uh, next day you need to change something on that property you can't change you have to against uh, again uh, used to use the important again again and again so override that property so after onwards whatever property you will add on that same class you have you need to import add the important on everywhere and this important you will uh, on uh, on the sonar cube this uh, important will uh, take as an error the sonar cube test will take that as a identify as an error important okay so to avoid using in important you need to do a increase of specificity what is the specificity mean it means you have to uh, select the particular element. I I show you the, in the first example. Without use of any, without use of any uh, important, I change the color with help of selector. Okay, so here the color was earlier the color was black, but I change the color to blue with help of proper selector. I select that container and that con under the container inside the container I select that proper P. And then apply the class. So don't uh, direct put uh, important on the particular CSS. Okay, just uh, check the relation between the parent and uh, child relation. Establish the relation on your CSS, and according that relation, you just change the, the property. You can change all the property, whatever color, border radius, font size, background color, everything you can change. You can change. Okay, so don't use uh, important everywhere on the it will create problem later okay so uh, any question related to the using of important in real life in your project you use a lot of important i know the every developer wherever they stuck with the problem uh, the ui guy said that just add important on the property and you add the important uh, you you just add the important everywhere what is what is not changing you add important and it will it will fix the issue so don't uh, do that so anyone has any uh, question related to the important so silent means no i am taking taking it as a no and continue to the next part okay so next thing is uh, do's and don'ts of CSS. Okay. So what is first? I uh, uh, go through this do's point. So what need to be do on the CSS? That dry rules. Dry rules means don't repeat yourself. That means uh, don't try repeat that uh, the code on your. Uh, on your uh, style sheet use a generic class create a generic class and use that as much as possible so you can you can add the uh, child you can change that so so is always use the parent child relation the selector relation the attribute selector use that um, pseudo selector use use uh, selector thing don't repeat classes so with only use of one class you can create a whole page 
just add a single class and use uh, the HTML tags properly and write that is that uh, your CSS property with help of that just using that relation and declare the proper CSS you can use you can control very easily the everything on that page and later it will help to modify that page very quickly if you use uh, uh, multiple class uh, on your application that will create problem later on uh, about us page the the same thing has a different class uh, where in contact us page or on contacted form you mention a different form class you uh, on the login page you have a different form class now you change to the input style so you have to change everywhere you have to add that property on the login page different uh, 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 differently and you have to change that uh, the input type property on the contact page. so don't do that use the use uh, the the main aim of uh, using css is write less and use it more and more and more so create a class use throughout your uh, application for form create five element uh, input text password select box button those five classes uh, for label uh, as well for label uh, use these five and whatever is required throughout your application wherever you use input type so add that class class only for label create use that class only for button use that class only or you can you don't need to even create the five classes just create a form class the form uh, you, you use form and inside that just label with label the, and use that relation form class then use label and declare the property form the form then the input type tag input type text i show you how to how to declare that input type text input type email input type uh, text area hmm. how to select that and apply the css ah, in earlier class i already show you so use that thing don't use multiple class everywhere so it will uh, it will uh, create problem for you on later so when choosing to point number two when choosing to use css class name use class names that describe the content meaning or purpose not its appearance so uh, always <coughs> always use the uh, class name as the as the identifier of that element not that uh, the appearance like button uh, button gray button blue button pink don't like don't use this kind of uh, class name okay in if you if you check that bootstrap bootstrap what bootstrap use bootstrap use button primary so it means that button button is a primary button of application the second button is button default which that button has the the default button it is and button error whatever wherever the error or errors are come so that they use the error uh, the error button the error uh, error paragraph style error um, uh, error notification so so use this kind of naming convention hmm. no don't use about us uh, about us paragraph or about us form hmm. about us button so don't be specific to the it's about name so how, what is the purpose of that uh, thing so use that that name okay third thing is use a few class names and use them on various elements so i already described this uh, so use only few classes and throughout your application just use them repeatedly to uh, to st structure well in your application use multiple class names on a single element to optimize your css this thing uh, uh, also i uh, show you uh, that i may I, earlier i show you that button let me where the form element now so let me open that uh, it will be three i think no. so form element, yeah, form element, three yeah see 
uh, the third point use multiple class names on a single element to optimize your code okay see the example what it means it means uh, i have added a button class name which is generic for all button hmm. check yes, yes. this button property are this pro button property are common for all buttons okay now i i added a different different class with it and change its appearance hmm. i added a, a primary in primary i what i added and background now if you think if i added a button primary class okay and i have a single button primary class on that button and i added the whole property in it okay then i have again button secondary again i have i add this thing and again i have button error i had these things okay so re reduce the file size to reduce the file size to reduce your code use multiple class whatever is common create a one class on that and the the changes are the changes are kept in a different class and add them you can use very easily use them in multiple class in one way you can add as well size size so for smaller button you can use uh, sm right so what means that is button and that button primary and smaller so you can small this this can be a larger lg the, this button will be a uh, mid me that means medium so you can multiple add the class add the class use the class multiple and just change that property here for like 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 um, ah, button hover button primary okay so i am using button um, dot button sm so in small button why i what i need to do so i just need, need to reduce the size so here i use padding 815 by uh, in common i have i am changing the size to now 4 adding and it's to 8 okay half of that and reducing font size to earlier it was 18 now i am using 14 okay so if i run that okay, form element again yeah see so i have added three class on it okay one is button one is button primary and one is button size so with help of three classes different classes i don't need to repeat the all things okay i can do it very easily it has it has increased the it will increase the flexibility of the css just repeat the wherever you need to change the button size just use the button size classes okay Yeah. use combine selector and precisely target your element this point i just uh just explain uh when i uh, you told you the importance so as much as you uh, as you use the element selector properly then it will reduce your your uh, line of codes as well as the weight of the file and the loading time so as much as you uh, write on your css file it will take more and more time to load okay so write less and do the uh, do the css uh, smartly always try to write less less code in css okay so use the parent child relationship everywhere and work on that these are topmost uh, do's part of the css okay don't what you need to do uh, don't use points need to do on the uh, css part uh, try to more precise when you target a specific class so this is the uh, opposite side of the last point try to more precise when you target a specific class so uh, always check the parent so if i write here um, on the
okay so if i uh, select that container instead of container if i have multiple div here and use the other one so that will not change so always check the parent child relationship before applying the css don't use complicated class name or ids like top into secondary content this is the sample name okay so this kind of you so uh this kind of class name never use this kind of use the simpler name okay or depend uh, on the functionality or depend on the purpose of that class i never use id keep make the id free for the developers for you so what wherever we use uh on for the css we use a css uh, class name only dot class name the ids are free for the uh, development purpose do not use uh, important tags so why don't why we are not uh, in uh, why you don't uh, use the important tags i already explained what in what uh, complication important tag can uh, import on the uh, on your application you already faced that on your uh, many of your applications so if have if any tag had has important tags in it inside that you can't uh, that is very difficult to uh, to override that property mm. so you have to establish the whole uh, uh, parent child relation from the top and then uh, use the important tag again to uh, override that property don't use in universal uh, selector for resetting the entire document ah, so never use the universal selector like uh, body uh, uh, the uh, p so never use those uh, uh, selector to modify any car anything uh, uh, precisely so you want to change the a particular in particular p tagging which has inside a, a deep and you applied that uh, change to the uh, generic p tag then it will uh, change the all p tags mm. so don't do that don't use don't use universal selector mm. don't add unnecessary class names so that is a uh, general thing so unnecessary classes which we are not using in our uh, css so never use uh, those classes don't don't keep that classes on your uh, css at all so what is not required remove that delete that so these are few do do's and uh, don'ts of your css now uh, i will come to that uh, later and uh, now today i will show you how to create a menu with help of css a navigation menu and a tooltip that will uh, be very interesting thing so i have a page which has a simple thing let me run that using it so it has five item home about our services products contact so now make it a functional um, multi level drop down menu okay so first make it a proper navigation uh container huh? we have a class name container inside that we have a class nav so let dot nav okay
so i have added the nav uh, now so it is a parent thing okay so um publish the parent chat deletion is nav dot evil inside that we have ul so i have added ul and make it uh first of all margin zero and padding zero so i am nullifying the uh the styles is default style you say ul ul has some default style so i'm uh nullifying that with uh, margin zero and padding zero with margin zero and padding zero now it has no default margin list style type list style type list style type none which is eliminate the bullet style of the evil see the bullet will not be there so on now what i have to do i will use display in display i will use flex and make it justify content check start because i want to start it on the left it will come on single line earlier it will come one by one now it is coming on horizontally so this property i have added on the navigation okay so name my evil part is my evil part is completed okay so i can add a padding as well here so adding in x so i added a padding 10 px which will i have added only padding 10 pixel that means it 10 pixel on the top left right and the bottom if you ch change that top and uh, left right padding you can add that way also you can use uh two uh two things 20 pixel so it will it will apply that 10 pixel padding on top and bottom and 20 20 on the left and right do that as well now inside the evil we have li okay i have added the li inside that element so only uh make adding a space on that on li on li i am adding mm, display inline block which helps it to make adding and merging on it and uh, i will add the property letter which is now i select a a means that anchor tag nav ul li a i am adding the color to the a because the default color of a is blue so i'm changing that to e e e and that underline does not look good so i am removing that as well so i uh x decoration done this property will this uh property and value will remove that underline see the underline is not here now i'm adding some adding uh, pixels on the so now it uh it looked like some uh, menu okay so let's add a let's add a border on it border right one px solid is a color of what is the background color three 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 no four 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 i have added a border uh to the to the right only to uh, 
and if i add a color on the left it will create a illusion left i have added a color and i add a 0 0 0 okay so it will create a illusion okay so it, it looks like a uh, 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 line is there which is a uh, uh, downside of uh, bevel line is there okay so i have added two but border one is on left one is on right but see here here uh, uh, the black line is coming which is not looking good so i need to remove that line so what i have to do that to do that i just select select eli colon the pseudo selector okay the the first child okay and then a so i select navigation you will eli then the first child of the ally and the anchor tag of first child of ally because i have applied the border on the anchor itself so i need to select the ally first child then anchor okay not the a first child because a does not have any it, it is it, it the a don't have any direct uh, child ele child element now so inside that ally we have a a single a we don't have multiple a inside the li so we can't select the a first child okay so we have select to the li first because li has multiple child on inside the li inside the ul so that's why i have selected the li first child then a and remove that barrel left let's remove that border left to zero or none none border left none what I left have default value to none. See the let me zoom up, keep it. So, so now the late border is not there. Okay, so we have home about our services, product, and contact us. And we now just add, I'm adding, uh, selecting the a, a over again a pseudo selector and adding some property background two 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 is the background color uh, three 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 okay see the hover is working properly now the hover is working properly so i need a active class so whenever i click on any any if i on the you, you check that if you are an about us page that about page about us menu will highlight it if you are on service page the service page will be highlighted so to do that i need to add a i will add active class a dot active because or li dot active let's add the active class on the li that will be more convenient li dot active okay so i am adding the i am selecting the li class li li because it has multiple child and adding the active class to the li so do that i added just li dot active because i am selecting the li if you see directly select any element then write this way without any space if you selecting the inside element then uh, do uh, write with space without space means you are directly select that element and active and background color see i am applying the same no so applying the uh, background color okay so back color is now i am a background to a different color like two 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 zero zero so if i add this class on my html any item so whenever i come to the website the default 
page's home page default page is home page and it will select it eli active a so default page is home page so that was that's why it is selected okay now see the if you go to the home, about us it is highlighted it is changing its background color services you can any you can add any style so i just change the background color you can change the background color font color font size whatever you want so you can add that you can implement that changes on the so this way you can you you can create your own navigation style this uh, was the first part now i am creating a drop down so inside the inside the services we have multiple items let's create that with the help of css so inside services inside services okay we have multiple things so let's add that in inside the CS services add another email so add item it has different different page so i'm creating different link for them oh see So I have added four services inside the services. Okay, for example. So see now it's coming just <laughs> like this. So total whole <laughs> the UI UI is breaking now. So, so it will comes only when we over the service. So IT service education and all the service are come. So to do that first. Uh, What it means, you will ally, you will. So I select the navigation, you will, then ally, then you will. The, this you will means this one. So see, I I don't use any classes on the you will, ally, next. I don't use that. I added just a class for this active. Okay. For this, whatever page is selected, I added a class. So otherwise, I never, I am not using any classes in, in any navigation item. Okay. So I'm just using the relation, the element relation. So nav you will like you will. So now add you will. So it will by default it will display none. So now it is not visible. Okay, because I did that, I changed that uh, to display none. So when it will visible? It will only visible when I hover that particular item, right? So, so to do that, when I hover on li, so then, then only that evil will be visible. So hover evil, it will display block. So now it's not visible. So about us, we have any, we don't have anything on services we have. So over on services and the, the things are visible, but still it is, it is breaking. So to fix that, to fix that, okay. 
what we need to do we have to now it's coming inside that navigation so we have to uh, we have to uh, put that uh, whole thing outside of that li mm. position absolute very useful property but use it properly it comes on the services but what happened where is the other background and all these things it will go on now it comes on in and on the uh here but on every position use of a position absolute you have to you have to relative the parent thing so what is the parent of this uh what is the parent of this ul eli is the parent of this ul so we have to add position relative on the parent okay then on the ul we have to use with a uh, i am using 200 px okay i am using a left position with absolute we have to define three four property you have to must define three four property okay the the position of that or that uh, or um, like left or right or top or bottom this fourth item any of these two you have to uh mention because where it comes it absolute means it, it, it is absolute on the page when you have to keep that from left uh, to uh, 200 pixel to right to so you need to put all left top or right top or um, uh, right bottom left bottom within these four property you have to mention the uh, two property otherwise it will come on the zero 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 means left, left from zero from top from zero if you don't uh, use any left or right property left or uh, top uh, position on the any absolute element it will by default position on the left uh, zero zero that means from left from the top uh, zero from the left top uh, zero from the top so i make it uh, zero from the left and top it's let's add 40 px okay never write zero px huh? never write zero px so that zero and zero px is same now add the background color to the evil what is the background color of the evil Mm, li li background color uh, was two to two mm, okay. thirty nine. It was 30 earlier need to reduce one pix 29 so see now it's come on the left from the zero top from the fort, uh, 29 29 means it comes uh, 29 pixel from the top from here we have li here started with li here this is this is 29 pixel and it's uh looks weird so let's fix that uh I have right margin padding zero here as well as here, right? To avoid that, just do one thing. See, here I uh, added some star. I can add that uh, to reduce these things. If you add anything on the star, 
that will apply the on the all HTML tag in all HTML tag. So for this page, I am adding margin and padding zero to all the HTML tags. So I am nullifying all element HTML element padding and padding to zero. Okay. Okay. So service IT services education. Product. Okay. So, so now I am not able to see, not able to select that, uh, select that property here. So to select that property, just for testing in that block. Now it's visible. You can select that. Okay. So A L I A here, then A is here. Now on this one. So earlier uh, earlier we have uh where 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 where, where you will. So we have added flex and justify content, uh, flex start. Okay. So now I'm using here. What will be the flex direction, row or column? It will column because it will come one by one. Okay. And what is the three content? Three content flex start it will start from top and on the eli eli add So we don't have space here. Okay. And but he it's coming properly. Okay. So it has you will have some uh padding uh you will have some padding. Okay, nav you will. So it's coming that that padding is coming here, and yeah, that uh, we have to change the individual individual this padding and uh, margin. Uh, so you can change that to just change the width a little bit. It will come properly. Okay. So I have changed the. Uh, you have to change the everything mm. to fifty pixel here. Okay. Padding, decrease the padding to 10 px. Let's come on one line. All these are elements are coming in one line. So removing the border. Border none. It will remove the border. Now all my problem are resolved now now i is do it again now so you can add the hover property on it on the uh, so again we have to copy it over And add. Uh, I'm changing it color. Uh, make it uh, add underline. Uh, adding underline. So 
So tick, tick, tick decoration, none. And to make it better, water bottom one, X solid and RGBA. I am using mixing of color and RGB, all of that to give you a better use of everything. 255255.67. So IT services, I have text, make it text decoration none, make it colors, change the colors, color to change aqua you can select any color let's uh, add some color here don't use the solid color so instead of that value i have added a extra extra decimal value Now C services, IT services, LI over. Oh, I've added on LI over, LI over E. Okay. So IT services, education product, publication equipment. Okay. So what? Uh, one more thing I uh, I can do here. I can remove that equipment last quarter with same thing. So I have added. Uh, I need to just, uh, yeah, I added border here, border on the A, right? So select that and add uh, Eli alone, last child. See, we are not, not mentioning anything here. Okay. So you, if you want to use the select the third child, then you can use three or four. So I am not I am using the exact element. That's why I using the last child. Last child, quarter. Uh, border none. Uh, last item border is not there. You see so. Uh, with this process, you can you can even add a, another sub item inside the education product. So, so to do that, just use that uh, inside the li. I have added the service. Okay, then you have to place that properly. So again, you have to then uh, establish the relation. What? kind of relation you need to establish you establish you have to establish nav ul li ul li then again ul or you can write like this uh ul li ul ul okay uh position absolute is already applied on the ul uh ul so i have i'm adding would uh, left uh, what is the width of that 250 so left 250 x and uh, top see that let's see the changes so see the IT sir on the uh, oh, okay so now it's visible when whenever I have uh, hover on the services these and these both are visible so I don't want to visible and don't want to see these items in all time so when only I hover on the education part in the, the particular that I like I need to see that so to do that so to do that uh, you have to select that L and Li, then UL. So again, that display none. And on hover over it, 
li hover the evil will display display So with with this kind of relation, you can establish the uh, the the many more three, two three levels of uh, navigation item. Okay. So this is the uh, you can very easily create the uh, you create the uh, drop down item with uh, this kind of thing. Okay. And uh, one more thing is left. I will show you tomorrow. Uh, five five. This is uh, the currently. So I'll show you the tooltip first tomorrow. So how to create the tooltip? Uh, you can create the tooltip uh, with use of uh, CSS and then go to the SAS part. Okay. So I will upload this file on the drive. You can go through that. Okay. So any questions? Once you practice these things, uh, you can do it very easily. Just understand the paint and relation. Then it will you can do it. Any question from anyone? No, Peter. No, Peter. Okay. So, uh, so we can uh, conclude the call for today. Tomorrow I'll show you the tool tip. Then go to the SAS. Just go through the SAS uh, once. Uh, so, what is SAS? Uh, if you if you can. Uh, before tomorrow session on Google, so that will help uh, you un understand better regarding the SAS. Okay. Okay then. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.